Yesterday marked the end to Rangers season as the Jazz lost 1-0 in the semi-final after a toothless attacking display. Whilst most of the content on this channel going forward will be positive and we'll discuss the future and the rebuild, we will have to go over the five major talking points from the clash. Not only that, but we'll also provide you with the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. As we mentioned in the intro, Rangers season is all but over as the Jazz were knocked out of the Scottish Cup semi-final against Celtic. In this part of the video, we will discuss the five major talking points from the clash. Kent the Anonymous Ryan Kent once again this season was an empty jersey, and whether or not prior to the game he thought his future was here or not, he didn't do himself any favours securing a move to England as he shied away in yet another big game. Listen, we know his talents on his day are superb, but he's not doing himself any favours. In what was by far the biggest fixture Rangers had left this season, he was hooked to half-time. A lax Stewart first half in which he was pocketed by Alistair Johnston, it wasn't Kent's day at all. But that's been such a familiar tale to be told throughout the season. It's being subbed off 45 minutes could have been down to fitness issues, but you wouldn't be surprised if it was for his performance. Leeds, Burnley and Crystal Palace could well be looking at his performance and double-check on him whether they actually want to sign him. Falling asleep yet again. It was probably Rangers' best first half performance against Celtic this season. There were early signs that we could well cause Celtic some trouble in spells, with them not really getting out of gear. But that first goal is so, so critical at this level, never mind in a fixture of such paramount importance to both teams. Nicholas Raskin and John Lundstrom, especially, are the main culprits to blame for switching off after Matt O'Reilly went to ground with Ryan Kent and Ben Davies hardly blameless for their roles in simply allowing Days and Maida to sneak in and deliver a superb ball for Jota to nod home with ease. Even James Tavernier was somewhat unalert to Jota arriving at the back post. Obviously, it wasn't his fault that a ball was even delivered across the face of goal, but his role meant that Jota simply couldn't miss. Michael Bill harps on and on about closing the gap to Celtic, but how can we make any of that possible if we continue to make the simplest of mistakes? Tillman season over. Malik Tillman's Rangers season could be over after he limped out of the match. The American was in tears after he was treated by the Jers medical team and he was subbed off on the 36th minute for Scott Arfield. Tillman never looked right following a challenge with Alistair Johnston and was subsequently replaced. Could this be his last game in a Rangers jersey? And will he sign in the summer? Well, that remains to be seen. Positives. Whilst we did lose and there was still a lot of anger, we were a lot better in this match. Defensively and in the midfield, we were actually very good and comfortable, but it's a shame our attacking players let us down once again. This is something that needs to be addressed in the summer. Just a quick one before we get back into the video, guys. We've released our brand new merchandise. We've got our Graham Sooners Tim Scalping t-shirts, along with our Michael Beal Stan Smith tees. Do shop the collection by going to rfcclothing.com or going down into the link in the description. Let's get back into today's video. Rebuild starts now. Michael Bill tonight vowed to carry out the biggest rebuild Rat Rangers in years this summer and revealed that a dozen players could depart after the Scottish Cup semi-final defeat. He said some players are fighting for their futures, obviously. It will be the biggest rebuild this club has seen in a number of years. You have to be respectful. You come in in November and you know the changes will be made. I've got a group of players that I need to manage and keep moving forward and motivate for games. It's obvious that I'm not going to condemn people and send them away, but it's also obvious that we are getting to the summer and there will be some change. If you haven't heard any news about certain players, it will be a miss to not asking the same questions because if you don't hear anything, then people's contracts are running out and it gives you a good indication that there is change in the air. Our Rangers team has performed well today, but where it counts in both boxes, we've fallen short. In the summer, there will be fresh faces, renewed energy and renewed ideas. With some of the boys we've got now, of course, we have to do better, all of us. The Rangers manager was then asked if Kent and Morelos will be moving on, and he said, possibly, yes. He was then asked if there could be a turnaround of a dozen players, and he also said, something in the words you use, because there is a number out of contract. 
The one or two I've mentioned are out of contract, everyone else is in contract, so they're not going anywhere overnight. There will be change, we know that. Now is probably not the time to discuss that. Let's deal with today. I thought the team in general performed quite well. They made a huge mistake in a game you can't make it in. After that, they gave themselves enough opportunities to turn the game around and didn't take them. Rangers made a series of defensive errors and a 3-2 defeat to Celtic at Parkhead earlier this month. And they allowed Jota to score what proved to be the winner at Hamden yesterday when they waited for the whistle to blow after Nico Raskin had fouled Matt O'Reilly just outside the Burnley box. He said, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed, frustrated. I think the group has been capable of more. I think it's clear to come at the end of the season when it's written we haven't been able to produce. Coming back into the club, I knew there was going to be change. We've been in need of the summer for a while, to be honest, but certainly after today, that will come. I think it's fair to say for the fans and the squad as well, we need some new faces and new energy. Some of the ideas and the way we played is good. We were able to win a lot of games. Chris Boyd was once again taking aim at Alfredo Morelos, branding the Rangers striker of disgrace. The Colombian again failed to make an impact for Michael Beale's side. Boyd insists his time at the club is up, and he also feels that Ryan Kent will exit the club this summer too. He told Sky Sports, The end of the season can't come quick enough for Michael Beale now. Looking at it yesterday, Alfredo Morelos and Ryan Kent's future must be elsewhere from the football club. I don't think Ryan Kent looked 100% fit, and going into the game of that magnitude, if you're not 100% fit, then it's always going to be very difficult. I think Ryan Kent has shown that he is a fantastic footballer, but his future probably looks elsewhere now. As for Alfredo Morelos, for me, his time is up. I've said it for months, and I've taken a little bit of criticism for it as well. But his performances recently has been a disgrace, really. Once again, yesterday, he never added anything to that Rangers front line. When you play as that lone striker, you need to be the focal point of the team, and he was absolutely nowhere to be seen yesterday. Rangers, as I said, there were plenty of players who played well, but when you are playing without a striker that's performing, then you've absolutely got no chance of winning a game of football against a team of the calibre of Celtic. On the financial gap of Celtic and Rangers, Boyd added, You can point to budgets if that's the case, then the season has panned out in the correct way. Celtic have got by far the biggest budget in the country. Ange Potsogoglu has spent a fortune to get the team assembled, so Celtic have got the biggest budget, but that doesn't mean to say that they can't beat Celtic. I think you start looking for excuses when you start looking at budgets. When you go back to Rangers winning the league title, the recruitment has been way off it. The fact that Michael Beer is still having to play Alfredo Morelos when he's not been performing almost sums it up, albeit Antonio Kolak is injured. A club like Rangers shouldn't be depending on one or two strikers. You should have three or four that should come in and perform. Rangers fans, what did you make of the performance yesterday and which players would you like to keep beyond the summer? Let me know them down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. We have released Rangers merchandise, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.